five saves now for Lamo Linera, who's well out of the net. He comes up with the ground ball. He is feeling pretty well today. Nice play. Maltz, one more. They have Donahue. They get it to him. All orange. I'm going to start all the way back at the faceoff to show the context of the substitution mistake that results in this fast break. When Duke Fogo Brendan Fowler wins the faceoff, note that Bill Connors is the closest defender to the box. That will become very important in a minute. Once he gets the ball down to the attack, Fowler can turn and sub out no matter what happens because the Syracuse Fogo will follow him to avoid getting stuck playing defense. LSM Luke Dupree and short stick defensive midfielder Greg DeLuca won't take Syracuse players with them when they sub out because the Syracuse D-mids are staying on to play defense. DeLuca, with his shorty, is a bigger offensive threat, so he hangs back to occupy the Syracuse D rather than leave the attack all alone and ends up getting open for a shot. Syracuse's Matt Pratt and Duke's David Lawson have come onto the field when the Fogos sub off. If you look closely, you can barely make out the white shoes that we will later see probably belong to Duke offensive midfielder Jake Trapuca. Syracuse goalie Dominic Lamelinera picks up the ground ball and starts transition with an outlet pass to Pratt, who heads up field. Duke's Josh Dion is not going to run out of the field with Pratt because he's an attackman. Instead, he's going to run through the box to let a D midi come onto the field. From this angle, we can see seven Duke players on the field. Three Duke midfielders are all in good positions to defend the three Syracuse midfielders. DeLuca is well behind the play, but he's still far ahead of Syracuse midfielder Steve Ianzito. Lawson has picked up Syracuse LSM Matt Harris, and Dupree has picked up Pratt, who has the ball. Duke's problem is in the back, where they only have two close defenders on the field to guard the three Syracuse attackmen. Duke was in the process of trying to sub from the midfield line by stepping close defenseman Bill Connors off the field, so that Dupree would just have to cross the other side of the midfield line in order to allow Jake Trapuca to come on. During the ground ball scrum, Trapuca must have come back off the field, but in the confusion, Connors never came back on. We see the confirmation that Duke has been playing one man short as Dion heads off because two Duke players come onto the field. Connors is going to head straight back while a short stick defensive midfielder comes on for Dion to hold them onside. Lawson is coming off with the Syracuse LSM, at which point the defensive midfielder will run back to defense while Dion comes back onto the offensive half of the field. As Dupree comes back to pick up Pratt, I don't think he realizes there are only two close defensemen behind him. He's looking upfield and is probably expecting Connors to come out of the box behind him. This camera also gives us a good look at the box and the four Duke players in it. With three midfielders behind him in the box, Connors needs to be out on the field. While this specific kind of mistake is rare, the play is still worth discussing because it's functionally the same as if Dupree had been the close defenseman coming up off of Syracuse attackman Derek Maltz instead of an LSM dropping back. When Maltz catches the ball, Dupree is going to turn and try to recover. Maltz wants to avoid letting Dupree cover him, so he's going to attack the goal to force Henry Lobb to step up and play him. If Dupree hadn't been out so far, he probably wouldn't be able to get back to cover Maltz himself instead of forcing Lobb to slide. Once Lobb has to slide to Maltz, the best option would be for Dupree to turn and try to get over to Dylan Donahue in order to free up Chris Hips to rotate over to Kevin Rice. However, when Dupree heads towards Maltz, and ends up next to him with Lobb, he's too far away to be able to get over to Donahue in time. And when Hips is forced to commit to Rice, it creates an easy opportunity for Donahue, who puts the ball past Duke goalie Kyle Turry. And then in transition, Pratt to Maltz, draw and dump, attack the backside, tic-tac-toe, 